So these are some baby hellebores that are about two years old. And I'm going to feed the rams and I'm gonna go plant them down by the road. I'm walking past wonderful growth of blue wood anemones and daffodils. The snowdrops are nearly over. The dogs are coming with me. Here you can see these snowdrops are nearly over. So I can continue dividing them. There's some more wood anemones. I planted those wood anemones about four or five years ago and they're beginning to spread. So the daffodils are beginning to come out in the field. Spring is beginning to spring or spring has sprung and loads of daffodils everywhere. The daffodils are coming out. So off down to feed the rams and when I'm on the other side of the road, I will plant in some of these. These are St. John's wort. This is a cultivated version that's a ground cover, not the shrub that a lot of people have. You can see it's young greens are coming up. I don't prune or anything. And the daffodils are all coming up along here. Soon there will be flowers in the holly. You can just see there the holly blooms will start blooming soon. But the birds, because it's been so mild, there's still holly berries. So we'll have holly berries and holly blooms at the same time. More daffodils. Hey puppers! And this is the fun part. The she-wolf loves this part of the day's things because I open this gate. You can hear she's already anticipating. And she has a convenient stick right here. And that's what she's waiting for, as is Inca. Clever girl. I walk down the field to feed the rams, throwing the stick as I go. Come on. And there's bear. But with the uh, video in my hand, she's not giving me the stick. Uh, come here, come here, I'm gonna give it to me. Good girl, good girl. and you're gonna try and eat the food. But you mustn't, because I've got baby hellebores. You're gonna give that to me, and then I'm gonna stop videoing. No, nope. she's gonna make me dizzy now. Uh, no, you're not to eat the sheep food. Oh, okay. One more throw of the stick. Good boy, good girl. So, here are the boys. They saw me walking down across the field. Hey, boys, how are you? Now, before I throw them the food, I've got to take out my planter tool and my little baby hellebores that I've dug up from the garden. And the first thing I do is throw out a handful. It gets them down that end. Then I, oops, I missed. I usually do it with my right hand and my left hand isn't as good. Anyway, the boys are fed. Now, I'm going to plant the hellebores. And you can see there's snowdrops here. I planted these snowdrops earlier this spring season. And here's more snowdrops, you can see there. 
So I think I'm going to plant a few of these baby hellebores. Again, there's snowdrops here. So I think all I have to do is this. And there's a baby hellebore. Put it in there. And pack around its roots. And see, then do another one. Oh, look, there's a bit of rubbish. Okay, somebody's fork. I'm using a different form of tool. So there's another baby hellebore with its established root. And I'm going to put it down in there. And there we go. So these hellebore won't flower for about four or five years. So whether they live or not, it's going to take me all of about five minutes time to plant these babies. And then it'll take them years to grow into mature plants. So just a few minutes of my time to maybe one day make this little stretch lovely with hellebores and snowdrops. I've got to plant more snowdrops. I don't have very many snowdrops here. I stopped planting the snowdrops just about there. So these hellebores, I'm just going to plant where I've planted the snowdrops so they can all do it together. Anyway, that's what I'm doing Sunday morning, is planting some hellebores amongst, some baby hellebores amongst these snowdrops. So a good few years ago, I planted all these bluebells along here. And these were tiny baby seedlings. And now, they're flowering. These are the first flowers. So those hellebores from seed are about five or six years. So this was an experiment. You can see I've got columbine that I've planted here. So all along here, I've been, I planted those five or six years ago. So those ones I just planted will take some time. And over here are some more that I planted that haven't flowered yet, but they were much smaller. So, oh look, there's more leaves of it right there. New baby leaves. So, these are all bluebells and uh, mombrisha. And then there's daffodils. You can see there's daffodils here are coming up. And it's whenever I'm thinning bulbs and I have a few spare, I come and drop them down here. So you can see this is a lovely daffodil. So I'm always trying to spread the love of the garden with baby seedlings and inexpensive plants or inexpensive to me. Excuse me, what are you doing out on the road? Go, get back up there. Go on. Go on. <laughs> You're frozen. That way. That way where everybody else is. What are you doing here? Come on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I've got to pick her up. You're bold. Very bold. Anyway, it's wonderful to see that the seedlings that I planted four or five years ago, there was, I planted about four or five there, and I planted a few over here, and that they're finally flowering from seeds grown and propagated in the garden. So they cost me nothing but a few minutes time of digging them out and planting them. These bluebells should really be thinned a bit, but I'm making it as an entranceway easiness. Here you can see I've planted these bluebells and some wood anemone, and then there's loads of snowdrops through here. This tree fell down. It was a big horse chestnut that um, we had to end up chopping it down because it was getting dangerous. So there's loads of snowdrop and then cow parsley. You can see this is the cow parsley. And I've been digging up the clumps of snowdrops. Here you can see here's one clump that I haven't dug up. 
and it's a lovely little old traditional snowdrop nothing fancy but you can see I've spread them out over here spread them all around here see there's another one so the entrance way will become nice over time I am gonna have to plant a tree there though to replace that old horse chestnut the horse chestnuts that line our land down by the road were probably planted by my great 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 grandfather in the 1850s maybe even a bit before then so so i'm trying to make this entrance lovely with um flowers and plants when i'm thinning only when i'm thinning i haven't bought nothing down here has been bought it's all been self-sown up above and I just transplant it from what I already have and yes beyond this point you're on a farm